New at 10, the federal government shutdown could impact some of Oklahoma's neediest families. Families relying on monthly housing assistance, commonly known as Section 8, could be impacted. Tonight, Two Works for You reporter Tony Russell is live with how agencies are bracing for the worst if funding doesn't come through. So the latest data that we have is that 23,000 Oklahomans are actually in that Section 8 program. We're told here in Tulsa, the housing authority here actually has reserves to go beyond that point if we continue with this shutdown. But those smaller communities, they tell me they could be in trouble. Gidget Moeller has lived in her Muskogee home for eight years now. I'm kind of floored. I mean, it's my house. They pay half my rent, so I would be basically stuck, screwed. I'm kind of speechless. And if March 1st arrives and the federal government is still shut down, Muskogee's housing authority says 750 families won't have the funds to help pay their rent. I don't think people realize how big of an issue this is going to be. Muskogee Housing says the federal program that pays out Section 8 is funded through February. After that, there could be trouble. Right now we're looking at about $300,000 that on March 1st, we don't know whether we'll be able to pay out or not. Muskogee Housing sent these letters to Section 8 recipients, like Moeller, warning them of the problem. Some agencies, which are much larger than ours, have reserves to fall back on. Unfortunately, our agency is of the size where we really rely on that month-to-month -month subsidy payment from HUD that gets distributed out to our landlords. Moeller's message to Congress. Work it out, figure it out, see what the next plan is. I mean you got to open back up the government. This is like screwing all the little people. And the doors are still closed if this federal shutdown goes on. We're told by the housing authority that those that are currently on the waiting list are going to stay on that waiting list, even though some of the families have exited the Section 8 system. Reporting live in Tulsa tonight, Tony Russell, Two Works For You.